Okay, we are standing outside the Owen Graduate School of Management here at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are standing here with Miss Carol Cohn of Cohn Consultancy. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great because I'm at Net Impact. It's a beautiful day at Vanderbilt, and I, I'm glad I'm not anyplace else. Absolutely. So tell me, what brought you here to Net Impact? Well, my firm has been at the cutting edge of linking companies and causes and now causes with companies for 25 years. And so since things always go in circles, and I was a student at Brandeis during the very radical late 60s and 70s, I've always had a great affinity for youth and how, as a youth and now a little bit older, um, but for all the young people at Cone and also the young people in Net Impact, how they can truly help change the world. So that's why I'm here. Fantastic. Now, let me ask you, I know that there are um, a lot of companies here that are looking to pick up some ideas on how to uh, maximize their business profits uh, through sustainable business practices. Now, I understand that there are good ways and bad ways of doing this. Can you tell us some of the best ideas that you've heard so far or some of the ideas that you think are really going to uh, permeate uh, this conference in terms of the best of the best? Sure. I'd be happy to do that. Um, authenticity is a message that we've always had. Had. And I, I'm really proud and, and pleased to hear that it's being echoed in some of the presentations. Um, for anybody to truly advance their business objectives and to have an impact in society, their work needs to be authentic. It also needs to be strategic. And I know that Andy Savitz, who's a local Bostonian, and we caught up today, and um, we also went Go Sox, which was really exciting for us in Boston. Um, he talked a lot about the shared value where you understand the business objectives and the social impacts and where they can have that shared value. That's where all of this movement is going today. So it's very, very exciting. And it's very exciting for young people who are searching careers in a very broad palette of opportunities now. I, I feel that I've lived long enough, I'm still really healthy, to see this going very mainstream. Excellent. And uh, interesting you mentioned that because... In today's economy, where talent is so in demand, a lot of the Generation Y millennials crew are very in tune with what, what and how companies are being socially responsible. Right. Um, how can a few, uh, an MBA student who is looking for a full-time job, how can they really kind of go beyond possibly the greenwashing of an organization to tell, are they truly a responsible organization? There's a lot of ways to do that because we're in a totally transparent world. Don't just go on the website. Check out what the bloggers are saying. That's the first thing. The second thing is talk to employees at the company. Ask during the interview because an MBA is going to come in at a high level, a high enough level where it is all right to ask, I would like to talk to some of my co potential colleagues. And you can truly ask them, what does the company stand for? Which is the motto at Cone that we always ask. It's also the name of my speech that I'm giving today. Um, what do you stand for? How can I bring my values to work versus leave them parked at the front door? And and you'll get some really interesting responses, and that's a great way to test it out. Absolutely. So uh, quickly before we sum up here, what's the biggest area of opportunity for MBA students going into the full-time environment? Oh, that's a big question. Um, I, I don't... The biggest area, I, let me turn that. I would say that what everyone talks about who's either in business or, or counseling young people today, it's follow your passion. If you can find passionate work that you can truly engage in, and it's both your head and your heart, that you will have the most fulfilling and satisfying career. That's the big opportunity. And so in doing that, try and understand what works and what doesn't work for you. Turn down some things. I've, I'm hearing young people today who are not taking the first offer. And they're sticking with, hopefully they've got some money in the bank and they've got some support perhaps from their parents or some friends. And they don't have to take that first offer and wait for the one that you can really, really follow your passion. Excellent. Well, I think that's about all that we have time for today. We know you're exceptionally busy. Thank you so much for taking the time. And thank you very much for asking me to share some of my insights. And it's a great conference. And thanks to Vanderbilt for giving their beautiful campus and for everyone who's made this a great conference. Absolutely. And as uh, Carol just said, if you were interested in asking a blogger, you can, of course, email us at owenbloggers at gmail.com. And we are more than glad to share our opinions with you, as most of you know. Thank you so much. And keep tuned in to owenbloggers.com for more Impact 2007 coverage.